Good afternoon. Here are today's news headlines. Man killed in front of Montego Bay Fire Station. Man's body found on beach in Portland. Man gets suspended sentence for rolling car theft. Higgler steals commuter's gold chain. And 29-year-old charge for cop's murder in St. Anne. Details coming up right after this break. A man was shot and killed just meters away from the fire station in Mobay, St. James, on Thursday night. The deceased man, who is yet to be identified, was shot by unknown assailants about 9.30 p.m. as he sat in his car on Barnett Street. The attackers then fled the scene in a motor car. The dead man was wearing a red shirt and black pants and was driving a Toyota Corolla motor car. Reports are that... Firefighters and civilians in the area had to scamper for cover when the multiple explosions were heard. The police are investigating. A man's body was discovered with multiple chop wounds at Ennis Bay Beach at Long Road in Portland on Friday. The body, which has not yet been identified, was discovered shortly after 5 a.m. by a visitor to the beach. The police were summoned, and on their arrival, the body was observed to have multiple chop wounds to the face and neck. The body was in a pool of blood close to the beach complex. It is the second homicide recorded in the parish in two days. On Wednesday, the body of 52-year-old Merlin White of Comfort Castle was found with multiple stab wounds at a house owned by her child's father. A father of three got to go home on Wednesday after spending seven months in custody for participating in the theft of a motor vehicle. Keenan Nash was sentenced to six months imprisonment at hard labor, suspended for two years by senior parish George Lorraine and Cole Monticchio. It was shared in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court that Nash was asked by his friend to help him transport a vehicle to another location. However, it was later discovered that the vehicle was stolen. Nash, who was previously employed as a security guard, pleaded guilty to receiving stolen property and larceny of motor vehicle. The defendant, through his attorney, explained that Nash was involved in an accident and was offered money by his friend to transport the vehicle. Nash agreed to transport the vehicle as he was strapped for cash. He wrote a letter to the judge that he is grateful, sorry to be in the situation, and he is asking for leniency, the lawyer submitted. Nash, who has been in custody since October 2023, was sentenced by the senior judge. A higgler who plies his trade in downtown Kingston was discharged from criminal proceedings in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Wednesday after spending a year in custody. Odain da Costa pleaded guilty to robbery with aggravation and unlawful wounding following an incident in April 2023. Prosecutors said that the complainant was waiting on transportation in the downtown district when two men, one of whom was identified as da Costa, stood beside him and started a conversation. Da Costa then demanded that the complainant hand over a gold chain that he was wearing. Da Costa tripped the man and took the gold chain and his wallet. Coleman Tecu sentenced him for months, imprisonment at hard labor, time already served for unlawful wounding. For robbery with aggravation, he was sentenced to nine months imprisonment at hard labor, again, time already served. A 29-year-old Trelawney man has been charged for the murder of Police Constable Ricardo Fairclaw in St. Anne last month. 
O'Shane Davis, alias Sean Brown, is also charged for the shooting of a female vendor. Davis is charged with murder, shooting with intent, possession of a prohibited weapon, and unauthorized possession of ammunition. The incident happened on the night of Monday, April 15. The police report that Davis and two other men went to Bravo Street in St. Anne's Bay where they shot the vendor in her face and upper body. While escaping, they were confronted by police constable Ricardo Ferco and a gun battle ensued, the police reported. Fairclaw and Davis were shot in the exchange. The police say Davis and his cronies fled while the injured woman and policeman were taken to the hospital where Fairclaw was pronounced dead and the woman admitted and later transferred to another hospital. They say Davis was taken to the Falmouth Hospital in Trelawney by his cronies, where he gave his name as Sean Brown, and that he also gave a story as how he was shot. The police say that based on early investigations, he was arrested at the hospital. He was subsequently charged. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share. Hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you... Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.